Hello, my name is Candace Caldwell, Program Manager for the Academic Peer System Program here at Prince George's Community College. I'd like to welcome the online students to the EduPlan Workshop. So pretty much you'll get all the information that you need to register for the upcoming semesters. Now we're going to plan our courses for the upcoming semester. In regards to the career programs that have three letters, for those of you that are in a program that has three letters, there are only two schools that will honor our career programs, and that's Bowie State and University of Maryland University College. Those are the only two that will accept our career programs. We have articulation agreements with them, and they're state institution like we are. So those are the only two that will honor your degree, that will take all your credits. If you want to change your program to another major, you just need to come down to Bladen 124, advising and transfer services, and we'll change the system for you. But for sake for the, for the program, for this workshop, you just can go into a what is scenario and choose the one that you want for now to follow, to take your classes for now. So what I'd like for you to do right now is you all have your EduPlan worksheet in front of you. What I'd like for you to do right now is I need you to plug in what you plan on taking for the spring 2014 in this box right here and then follow suit with either summer or the following fall. Again, flip between the two screens, look at the course descriptions, also look at the prerequisites to make sure that you have the prerequisite done. I strongly suggest that you write it out first because when you do it in hour length, it will time you out and that means you have to start all over. So it's better for you to write it on the worksheet first and then do it all in one shot in EduPlan. For the sake for this class, I am going to show you the other screens. So the other thing is once you input your classes, so if you look up at the screen real quick, if you all click on main menu, again click on credit students. Scroll down, get back into EduPlan. Do you have your main menu here? And then we're going to create and add a worksheet. And it's always going to confirm, confirm your major. And again, if you don't have your major there right now, that's okay. Just hit submit. to plug in your courses that you plan on taking for the upcoming semester, which you're going to do right now in class. To get to give you an idea of how it will be typed in, say for example I'm in mass communications and I want to take my classes for the upcoming semester. So I'm going to take English 1010, so I'm going to scroll down to English, type in the course number, I also want to take a math course, and I'm in math of 1040, so I'm going to look for math, mathematics, and type in 0104. I also want to take a TRF course, which stands for television, radio, and film. Mind you, I'm going full time, so I'm picking one more class. I'm going to do a social science. And I'm going to take sociology 1010 and hit submit. Once you get to this screen, you now need to choose when you plan on taking these courses. So I want to take these all for the spring 2014. So I'm going to click on the down arrow. And if you notice, on this screen, you can plan out all the way up to summer 2017. Okay? So for the sake of this, we're trying to just plan for the spring 2014. So I'm going to select spring 2014. I'm going to do that for all four because this is what I want to take. Submit. 
Now, this is an example of a planned course planning worksheet, which means I've been doing a little play around and planning out trying to do some courses, okay? But once you plan in for the upcoming semester, it's going to look just like this when you plan the other semesters out. So this is confirming what I just plugged in, those four courses. Here is my English 1010. Here is my Math 104. Here is my Intro to Sociology and my Intro to Mass Communications. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to focus on is if I want to modify, which means do I want to change a semester? Do I want to take something out altogether? Okay. So you go right up here where my arrow's at to modify. And on the screen, you have a choice of either removing the course or changing the semester. But keep in mind, you cannot do both on the same line. Okay? So, I want to take out some courses that I have listed here for the spring. So, I'm going to take those out and I'm going to click on remove. And I want to change a semester, that course. So this one, I want to remove as well. And I want to change this to fall 2016 for the sake of the class. Okay? So I did some changing. I removed, I removed some stuff as well as change the semester. So now I'm going to hit submit. Now this is all I have, so I moved quite a bit. This is what I have, so it's confirming what you just did. Okay, so I took out some courses as well as changed the semester. One thing to keep in mind with EduPlan, you are in control of your educational plan. No one has access to this but you. So whatever you change, as long as you are here, this will stay active in your account. So don't ever worry about it. You know, it being inactive or phasing out, or what have you, it will stay in here as long as you are here. So do keep that in mind, that you have access to only you. So we're going to go back to planning home. So just to recap what we've covered so far, we've covered the program evaluation, and that's the list of all the courses that you need for your specific major. We created a worksheet. We plug in the course that we plan on taking for this semester, which you're going to do right now in class. Modify a current worksheet. And the last one we're going to do is register for classes. So whatever ones you plan on taking for the spring 2014, for the sake of the workshop, we're going to click on, we're going to, we're, hopefully we're all at this menu right now. So everybody needs to go back to that page the main uh, EduPlan menu. On this screen, we're going to select register. And again, it will always tell you to confirm your program. Now, for the sake of this class, if I was to choose my classes for the spring 2014, can I do it now? Well, let's see what happens if I was to do that right now. So if I selected, you all look up front real quick, if I selected the ones that I have for spring 2014 and hit submit, it gave me this error message. And it gave me that, why? Because it's not open, exactly. Registration for the spring starts Advanced registration is December 2nd to the 6th, and open registration is the 9th. So that's why you're getting that error message. It will only open up when it's available. Okay? So for the sake of this class, I am going to show you what it will look like once it is open. So this time, I'm going to unclick these three, four, excuse me, and I'm going to click on the ones for that we're currently in right now, so you can see how the setup is. So for the sake of the workshop, Let's pretend that we're selecting for spring 2014, and I'm going to hit submit.
and use these are all the days and times for the classes that you plan in place. Click on the days and times for the ones that you want, that you selected, hit submit, and we're done. That's it. Okay? So to avoid the long wait lines during registration, it's better to do this route because you can do it at home, you can do it at computer labs here on campus, and knock us out within minutes. Okay, so whatever courses that you have that you're gonna set up for today, that's what you're gonna register for. And as I mentioned before, if down the line, the ones you plan today, something comes up and you wanna change it around, just go to modify and change it up. Register for the classes and you're done. At this point of the workshop, we're gonna be asking some questions um, within the class. For our online students, this work video will hopefully be helpful for you in the future in regards to registering for the upcoming semester. We also have um, some information. If you have questions that you need to ask, you need to go to eadvising at pgc.edu if you have some additional questions. Again, my name is Candace Caldwell, Program Manager for the Academic Peer Assistant Program. Have a good day, take care.